Hey guys, happy Thursday, and we have three parts today. The first part's a warm up, we're not gonna go over the details there, but let's start with part two and what we're looking at. Okay, remember this is more steady work um, and just trying to keep moving throughout. So first thing is going to be single leg lateral hop. So we're using a really low hurdle here and just working on our bounding. Even if you can't jump over something this side, try to find something, even a line on the ground where we can work on keeping tension, working on balance, okay? We really wanna work on bounding quickly. We don't want it to look like stopping, okay? So even if you need to find a line, that's what we prefer, okay? You're gonna do each leg for a number of reps. From there, we're gonna go into more single leg work with dumbbell box step up. So holding dumbbells, step up, stand up all the way on the top, and then step down, okay? So you can scale the weight on these uh, to what's comfortable. From there, we go into a box movement, another box movement, which is gonna be a burpee box jump over. So I'm gonna do a burpee on one side. You can go straight forward, you can go lateral. Just get your chest to the ground, okay? You can step forward, do a two-footed jump on the box, and then step over to the other side, okay? Listen there. Okay, from there, we're gonna go into bear crawls. So bear crawls are a classic body weight movement. I don't care, again, how, where you put your hips, the main thing, is that we're walking straight forward. When you get to the end, get your body over and then walk back for that distance. So that's gonna be our first main part of our workout today after the warm-up. And then part two is more kind of accessory work, but still very challenging. So we're starting off with two uh, single leg variations that are great. One is the Bulgarian split squat. <laughs> so use a box for this set up. When you sit down in this, again, you can hold dumbbells if you want. For some people, body weight is just enough. Hips go back and down, so at the bottom, your front shin is vertical, and then you get your thigh parallel with your chest tall, and then stand back up. Okay, so I think the back knee goes back and down, right? So that's gonna be weighted if you can do it. And then we go into split stance RDL. So split stance RDL is like this. So we're really focusing on that front leg. Don't round the back when you do this. Think chest tall, push the hips back, Try to keep tension in the hamstring the entire time, right? So that's gonna be with each leg for our split stance RDL. And then we have two great gymnastic challenges. First one's going to be max effort L-sit on the parallel. So L-sit is ideally performed with straight legs above parallel. Now that's really hard. So way you can scale this, first is do a single leg as long as you can, okay? From there you can go into a chair sit as long as you can, all right? Or if this is hard for you to hold, try a hanging chair sit for as long as you can, all right? The last one, let's see how I do, is gonna be a max effort handstand hold. So if, I'll try, you can, if you're good, you get five attempts in free space, and then I'll show you two variations against the wall. Let's see how I do in free space on my first try, see if I can hold. <coughs> So pretty good, all right? So you get five attempts if you're comfortable in free space, but let's go over to the wall. If you have never done a handstand hold against the wall, I want you to start actually facing the wall. And you're gonna start with your hands on the ground, decent distance from the wall so that you're comfortable stepping up, holding, and then you can step down when you get tired, okay? If you're more comfortable, you've done this before, you can kick up to the wall and then hold from there. Both of these think tucked chin, Elbows locked out, hands shoulder width apart. And for these variations, if against the wall, you're just holding for max effort. All right? That is our Thursday, guys. Have fun with it. We'll see you tomorrow.